I'm Chris Berman. Coming up on ESPN. Well, the Grand Ole Opry is all revved up, ready to kick things off in Nashville at the Coliseum. Side of this edition of the NFL on ESPN. Dan, Peter, and Susie are there. Arizona Cardinals, Tennessee Titans, straight ahead. Still fans making their way through the turnstiles. They'll be just in time to catch the start of this game. Hello there, everybody. I'm Dan Stevens, and welcome to the Titans Coliseum. Mr. Peter O'Keefe is with me, and partner, we have a treat in store for us. There are not many running backs like this. Absolutely, Dan. Travis Henry's a guy that still doesn't seem to get the respect he deserves, but we're truly looking at one of the best running backs in the NFL. He doesn't do a lot of juking and wiggling out there. He just finds the hole and hits it hard. Okay, we'll keep our eye. He possesses a great blend of skills and abilities, and that well-roundedness is what makes him such an effective player. It should be one heck of a matchup. It'll be interesting to see who gets the upper hand. Okay, Peter, we'll see how they do once the game begins. Henry gets the call again and heads wide left. Left down at the 20. This pass will fall harmlessly to the ground and time he looked up, there was nowhere to go. Darcy's offense will start this drive at their 33-yard line. Number two gets past the line and barely picks up. Number two, great play, and now they have a bunch of options on what to try next. Green pulls down the lob, and he's got the first down and a whole lot more. Michael Green gives him man-to-man -man coverage on this play and makes the most of it. Let's take a look. Oh, that's a great catch. That guy has real skill. Much there had they completed it, but there was a little room to maneuver afterwards. Perhaps a big play. Perhaps not. Second down coming up. Hopkins makes the nice catch, and that's a touchdown. Brad Hopkins is all by himself, and he'll take advantage of it. Easy catch. That's his first touchdown of on second down. They try for the first, but it's played well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. Number 17 lets it go here, and the catch is made well past him. Henry gets the call on first down and will gain close. Henry gets the call again and barely picks up the first down. Reynolds reaches it over the middle and is at the 40. Eventually tackled at the 37. Number 17 gets it past the defender and into the arms of his receiver. That's a great play. Check it out. Ooh, nice accurate throw. Announces his grip around you. You are not going to get free regardless of how evasive you are. Not with that strength. With those guns, he could probably juggle bowling balls or wide receivers for that matter. Number 17 just rifles this one and it's cut for a touchdown. Number 10, really delivers on this flight. Let's take another look first at the catch. There it is, but he's not done. He's going to make his way forward for extra yard. At their own 20-yard line. Green grabs the fastball over the middle and tries to get free. Chase down at the 50. First down. Michael Green hit the daily double on that play with both a terrific catch and a phenomenal run. Nice catch, Peter, and his stats reflect that. Definitely. <laughs> Number one, tips it to the left sideline, and the reception is made past the markers for a first day. Williams facing. <laughs> Hopkins grabs the floater right sideline, and he's got the first down and a whole lot more. Number one goes across the field on this one and completes the pass. It's worth another look. Oh, he's got such a strong arm. What a powerful throw. And I'll tell you what, he made that precision room on that play. It will be third down. One man to beat. Forced out at the one. Gardner. We'll get credit, and that'll do it for That's quarter yeah, number yeah, one, four, and we're all tied. <laughs> He's in for the touchdown. Come on, Come on. Uh, too much for you. Too much for you. 
Well, this is a nice run, Dan. Gets all the yards he needs. Not a eighth carry and gains about three yards. Henry picks up six on As we know, you were you wound up a lineman, but I know you were running back back in Pop Warner. Uh -huh. And I suspect this is, well, this, this kind of run was your M.O. Well, they didn't call me Twinkle Toes, that's for sure. Excellent job running right through a guy for extra yardage. Henry. McKinnon. Number one. Fires this one over the middle. Hopkins catches the bullet out left and it is at the 50. Finally drop at the 45. It will be for shadowing him, but still manages to make the catch. He beats his man cold. It's all about staking. It's playing well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. Number one throws a big high lob, and the big catch is made with daylight in front of him, and he's in for the touchdown. Brad Hopkins will not take no for an answer. Watch this play where he makes the catch and then knifes ahead for plenty more. That's his second TD reception. 308 pounds out of Wisconsin. This is a guy that has a really bright future in this league, especially if plays like that are any indication. Number 99 gets the sack way back at the 12. That will bring up fourth down. Nowhere to go. The Cardinals come out on the field, and they're looking to extend their lead before halftime. Number one throws a heater, and it's complete at the 21. He can. And that's what makes this guy so dangerous. Good coverage, good play. That had potential for some yards, Peter, but the defense was on top of it and shut it down. Good denial there. Second down coming up. And touchdown. Number one saw nothing happening, so he decides to scramble for it. And he turns in a pretty successful play there. He's never more dangerous than when he improvises like... That's what I'm talking about, baby. Yeah. That's good work out there, All right, man. all right, yeah. Start his final drive at their own 20-yard line. Jones pitches the heater left sideline and gets past the markers for a first down. Thomas Jones had nobody on him. The quarterback saw it and got the ball to him. Great job fighting for that first down. He didn't waste any time. Well, just because the pass is short. <laughs> Number 17. Oh, oh, left side and the completion. Henry takes it off the toss and heads up field. Breaks free. Runs out and that will stop the clock at 120. It will be first down. Travis Henry. Number 17 throws a bullet to the flat and he connects at the 19. Eventually pushed out of bounds at the four. It'll be first and goal. Well, he can run, but they also have a goal to receiver in there. Let's watch. Henry carries it for the 12th time and gets in for the score. Travis Henry. Cardinals enjoying the lead, 28 to 14. And now let's send you to Chris Berman in our studios in Bristol for the ESPN Halftime Report. Boomer? Okay, Dana, we'll get back to you guys in a moment. Welcome, everybody, to the ESPN Halftime Show. I'm Chris Berman. A look at our halftime stats here, and boy, look at the difference in passing yards. The Titans are certainly losing because of it. It's hard to win when you play like that. Let's get started on this one early in the first quarter. Michael Green is going to come up with a big play here in a deep ball. Have a look. A 35-yard play that set up a Cardinal touchdown. The Cardinals get the first points of the game and go up by seven. Titans midway through the first, ball at the 35. Number 10 had to work to find an opening, but he was able to haul this one in. A 35-yard touchdown for the Titans. 
Cardinals. Towards the end of the first quarter, game tied, seven all. Brad Hopkins is gonna find himself on the receiving end of this one as he works his way open for the big play. The Cards have it again. Brad Hopkins knows he's gonna be the man they turn to on third down and he comes through. A 47 yard touchdown for the Cardinals. Cards ahead, 21 to seven. Number one, get up ahead of steam, and then it was clear sailing from there. A 13-yard touchdown for the Cardinals. The Cardinals have opened it up and now lead by 21. Titans late into the second quarter. The Titans with the ball at the midfield strike. Travis Henry let his big old offensive line pave the way on this one. A 19-yard play that set up a Titan touchdown. And that's where we'll leave this one. Titans are down at the half, 28 to 14. Check out the undisputed halftime hero of the first half. Number one has played like a man possessed. And now let's return to the second half with Dan Stevens and Peter O'Keefe. Thanks, Chris. And today's game has been presented. Jeff Fisher, Toby at the half, and hopes the defense can get some big stops to set the offense up with good position. So Larry Fitzgerald juggles this ball all over the place before finally pulling it down. I, I thought I was a kid at the circus. Well, well designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chains. And let me tell you, Dan, having those chains move is one of the best sounds in the game for an offense. Number one. <laughs> Number one. Airs this one to the left sideline, and it's caught at the... This one off the toss, big gain on third, and they will easily move the chain. Perfect call for the situation, Dan. No trouble in getting the first. First down, one man down. Number one took it himself on that last play, and lucky for him, it worked. That's a great scramble. Check! Gold 16! Hopkins catches this one, and he's looking for room, and touchdown! Brad Hopkins keeps the party going after making the catch right here. And now he's off for more. Coaches love receivers who believe. It up, <laughs> Brown pitches it in the flat. Ball carrier before the markers. There was some game there, but not enough for the first. That's his second tackle so far. Henry. <laughs> Number 86 makes the catch. Number 17. Number 17 sings it to the right side and he hits his bench and that's where they've been utilizing him today. The short routes have been open and he's been exploiting it. Jones catches it over the middle and he's got the first down and a hole. Number 99 crushes him behind the line at the 25. Number 99 keeps his man from getting back to the line. Let's watch. Ow. Oh, that's got to hurt. Peter, they put an end to that play well in the backfield, and they have... <laughs> Jones catches the left sideline, and he's at the 15. Eventually tackled at the... Thomas Jones gets open and gets the football for a game there. Watch this again. He is one... one that open in the NFL. Or they will make you pay, baby. Peter's up second down. <laughs> Macklin tips it away on the coverage, incomplete. David Macklin with the double play. David Macklin cuts in there and gets himself in a perfect spot. Absolute points off the board. Perfectly played, great call by the defensive coordinator. Third down coming up, number 17. Rifles one straight to the end zone, and it's Cotton for a touchdown. Thomas Jones gets in man-to-man -man coverage on this play and makes the most of it. Let's take a look. Oh, that's... And he is really using his arm to his fullest so far. Boy, he is... He's just on. They couldn't connect on... The Titans offense takes the field, and they are... Barges off right guard and takes it upfield. The 15. Locked down hard at the nine. It'll be first and goal. 
look at this run, Dan. Everything worked out to perfection. Look at the fluidity of the running style. There's no wasted motion there. What a play. What a run, and he is generating some great numbers. Wow, those are nice stats. Way to carry the ball. The stop. And Jones to stop a tank, too. What a play. Throws a bullet, and it's caught for the score. Touchdown, Titans. Six. Makes the catch here with three defenders on his tail. I'll tell you, I was not expecting that pass at all. I wonder if he Cardinals stalled for the last drive, and we'll have to wait and see what happens here. They'll start at their own 23-yard line. Number two takes it across the line of scrimmage and jukes to a first down. Dan, this is why I love this game so much. Just look at all this stuff going on down there. Great moves, big hits, shrewd coaching. Everything's going on. <laughs> Number one, unloaded this one with the last hand. It's caught at the 31. Finally dropped at the 29. That will bring up first down. Michael Green has a guy shadowing him, but still manages to make the catch. He beats his man cold. It's all about staking your turf. That's the second long ball he's reeled in today. One long ball is plenty, but two is something to be stoked about. And that'll do it for the third quarter. The Cardinals are out in front, 35 to 28. Green grabs the fastball over the middle and is well past the markers for a first down. Michael. Well, those are some impressive numbers. Look at those receiving yards. Number one, ropes this one to the end zone, and it's caught for the score. Give it up, baby. Number one, lays this one in beautifully. Got to see it one more time. Right on the money, Peter. He effectively... Look at the numbers generated on the ground. That is impressive. <laughs> the carry on second down and the chain. On offense, it was always a plus to avoid third down. Like that. Brown, Brown faces down two defenders and comes away with the football. Oh, nice catch. A lot of short completions like he's pretty sure handed. Jones catches it in the flat and that will be a game. Number 17 sets it to the left sideline and Number 17. the football, and he's got the first down and a whole lot more. Pass interference, number 24, defense. The penalty is declined. All right, dudes, get the ball fourth back. Come on, goal. fourth down, get it back. Ball, ball, four, Good play coming up. Strong runner in the backfield and a great receiver on the line. Jones drops it. Thomas Jones seemed to be all over that one, but watch how it gets away from him. Ah, oh, there's just, oh, look at those numbers. That's how to get it done on the ground. Number two gets the call. Number two takes it off the toss and gets past the line. Number 17 throws it to the left side and it's complete for a first down and a whole lot more. And he's in for the touchdown. Travis Henry makes an incredible play here. Watch how he pulls out some extra yards. Bounces it up, <laughs> gathers it up at the 41. Tackled. <laughs> Number two, player gets the ball and kicks what will be a short one. <laughs> Jones has the fastball. <laughs> gets the 
number 17. Puts his arm into this one and it falls incomplete. <laughs> The 28. Number 99 takes time out of his busy schedule of smashing O-lines to make the pickoff. Wow, he may be big, but if you're going to throw that low, he's happy to take... And that will do it for tonight's game. The Cardinals come out on top, 42 to 35. For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time. All right, Dan, thank you. So this one is in the books as we welcome you all to our ESPN video game post-game show. I'm Chris Berman. The Cardinals stepped it up for sure, putting up some good numbers. Let's get started in this one early in the third quarter. Number one connected with his man on this one. A 24-yard touchdown for the Cardinals. The Cardinals move ahead big and now lead by 21. The Titans answering right back. The Titans inside the red zone. Number 17 would put this pass right where it needed to be. A nine yard touchdown for the Titans. Titans trailing by 14. Travis Henry make the first guy miss. Then he'd rip off a chunk of yardage here. They climb back into the game now down by seven. The cards come right back. Number one would find his target on this one. A 13 yard touchdown for the Cardinals. Cards up 42 to 28. Number 17 would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. This time at the 27, number 17 would find his target on this one. A 26-yard play that set up a Titan touchdown. Titans back by seven. Number 99 shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. And that's where we'll leave this one. Cards edge out a win, 42 to 35. Now let's catch up with the player who really ignited his team's offense with his death passing and has earned our Player of the Game Award. Number one is on hand with Susie Calder. Suze? Thanks, Chris. You played brilliantly. And you nosed them out in this nail-biter game. What put you guys over the top? I really think our linebackers play well today. They're reading the plays, getting after the ball. Man, look like a pack of wild dogs out there. They played big time today, so yeah, I gotta tip my cap to them. Chris, back to you. That concludes our presentation of the NFL preseason on ESPN. Celebrating its 25th anniversary as the worldwide leader in sports. I'm Chris Berman. See you next time.